Good morning everyone. Welcome back to my kitchen. You're looking at little Ramsey here. And of course the camera has adjusted itself while I turned it on. It's weird how it does that. Hopefully you can see all of her. Um, so we're looking at Ramsey and I'm back with her because my friend Susie from Ruby Rose Reborn suggested that um, I should keep her for a while so I could dress her in some lovely things. So what I thought I'd do is I'm, I'm not going to keep her, um, which is very difficult. I've said to a few of you in my comments, it's really like, absolutely love her. But I can't really keep another one unless I sell someone and I can't see myself selling the three that I've got at the moment. So um, the thing with making them is that you can always make them again. That's my plan anyway. And I'm sticking to it. Let me just get happier with this adjustment. I'm sorry you're looking at my kitchen sink, but at least you've got Ramsey to look at in front of the kitchen sink. So I'll first tell you what she's wearing. And um, did I finish what I was saying before? I suppose I did. Yeah, I guess I did. So this is a little Spanish knit outfit called by, hmm, Dulce de something. Fresne? I can't remember what the lady is. Something like that. It's Spanish, but um, and it's in a very uh, sort of a sage green, a muted sage green knitted top. And it's got little knitted, these little white things are knitted into the pattern all the way around the bodice and around the little sleeves. And then the, the bubble part of the romper, oh, did I say it was a romper? No, I'm sorry. I'm all over the place, aren't I? So it is a, a bubble romper. The bottom part of the, the bubble romper is in a beautifully textured cotton in white with tiny little green stars in exactly the same muted sage green as the bodice is in the knit. Um, the collar actually is just part of her bodysuit that she's wearing underneath. You don't have to have that at all. At all. It's just that you know me in collars because the edge is just a lovely finished edge. So you can just have it without that. But I fancy the collar, but we don't want to see your cloth body. There we go. So I've also done her hair with some water just for a change because last time you saw it, it was fluffy. And the reason I'm coming on is twofold, to show you Ramsey in a, in a gorgeous sweet outfit, um, which is a one month size actually. I think maybe the Spanish make is a bit smaller, but it's perfect on her as a one month. And so, would, so is the bodysuit, which is a newborn size that she's wearing underneath. So your guess is as good as mine really. I, I think, I'm, well I'm sure that zero to three months would be too big for her. But uh, like a newborn or um, even a large newborn is fine for her. So you can see her little scratch a bit, I hope, on her little face. Um, so did I say it's Sunday morning at about quarter past 11? I don't think I said anything that I should have said. I'm so sorry. Anyway, so it is, that's what it is. It's Sunday morning and this is the first free day I've had for a few days. It's been really hectic around here. But... Back to what I was saying two hours ago, which was that the purpose of this video was to show you Ramsey in a gorgeous outfit. Um, I've got some beautiful things picked out to go home with her. And also, because I've missed the last two theme Thursdays while I've been finishing her, I did really want to show you some some things from the theme of two weeks ago, which was one of the one of the options was show your baby shoes or socks or booties and things. And I have a lot of those, and I, there's no way I would have been able to choose what to show you. So instead I've decided to show you some of my vintage baby shoes, because I thought they would be interesting. So here we go. Um, I'll start with these ones. These are really magnificent. They're in a, a pink satin um, quilted fabric, and they are high boots with fur around the edge. Not actually on the inside, just around the edge, and they tie up with two satin ribbons going up the leg. Um, I think these were worn in when you went riding in a carriage. Imagine that. So they're pretty old. I've got them filled with some um, fibre fill just to keep them in shape and looking good. And they've got little sort of pom pom. They are pom poms, but they're not fluffy pom poms. They're made with kind of looks like loop or loops of maybe silk thread 
in the same sort of pink as the boots. Aren't they stunning? And let me show you the bottoms. Of course they're leather on the bottom. Um, I don't think these were ever worn though by the looks of them. Also, I think the ribbons have been replaced because they look like very new ribbons, don't they? So that's them. That's the first pair. And then, this is, so there's something very different. It's a tiny little, very small little, oh, it's a bit hard to hold two of them. Let me see if I can organise that a bit better. I tell you, this one hand game gets so frustrating sometimes. Now, can you see them? There we go. They're little hand embroidered booties, I guess you'd call them. And they're in a, in a very light blue fabric. And the bunnies are embroidered in tiny little, can you see that? Like French knots. And, then, and they're in blue. And the bunnies have whiskers and pink eyes and a pink nose. And then the ears are cut out separately. And they also have the little tiny French knots on them. And then around the back, back there's actually fur on them. I'd say that was rabbit fur, I guess. Aren't they cute? They're very sweet. I think they're probably from about the 1930s. Oh, let me show you the soles of them. And then that's what they look like at the bottom. And it's sort of a... Um, it's, I can tell by the fabric that it's from about the 1930s. I don't know what you would call it. I don't know if you can see that. It's sort of a... I don't know. I can't really name it. It's something like we used to call, like... No, I can't. I can't name it. Sorry, everybody. And also, I can tell from the bottom, and maybe you can, it's not just blue. It's sort of a bluey, greeny, slightly colour. Anyway, that's them. And then we'll move on to these cute ones. These are leather, and they're blue. The lighting's not great from this one. What if I do that? You can see them a bit. They're blue leather. They've got like a centre centre stitching on the toes and then they've got little yeah my light my hand is blocking the light when I do that isn't it um, little blue pom-poms and these are fluffy pom-poms on each shoe and then they just have a hole like a would you call that a hole yeah a sort of a hole and then there's a ribbon to tie up around the ankles and that's how the hole, hole is formed because the ankles are drawn in and then they're just plain just plain blue and then there's the bottom of them and they're leather as well in a blue leather which is a little bit grubby I wonder if a baby wore them but I doubt a baby with feet that small could have walked anyway so that's them I don't know how old they are but they're pretty cute and then these ones are adorable one of them is in better condition than the other let me try and turn my hand up the other way so you can see them now these are pink leather and um, they have pom-poms and they, they have little ankle straps not Mary Jane style but actually around the ankle let me put down the one that isn't in such good condition I'll leave it there and show you this one I can hold one up much better and so these are classic little baby shoes they're lined in I think that might be paper and they're leather and they've got a little fringe around the toe opening part can you see that that's leather fringing and it's just a very sweet shape and the bottom of them is leather as well the same pink leather and they're very small they're cute aren't they so that one's in good condition it still has its button that that does up through a big buttonhole that's how they used to do it imagine fiddling with that with a baby good heavens and this one is the one that's in not very good condition the pom-poms coming off the buttons gone um, but it's still adorable and it's still a pair so that's those pink leather which I'd say would be probably around the 1940s maybe 50s and then oh these are really cute ones these are some beautiful old boots I'll put one down while I show you the other one stay there it's a bit on the side let me see if I can fix that sort of see it. this is the other one they are beautiful boots in a very very soft brown leather and they have one they have four buttons that are round um, rounded 
and they go through special buttonholes that are actually have buttonhole stitching around them, which would have been done by hand, I think. And so the flap closes across the top of the boots, and that's how it does up. And they're very, very beautiful, soft as anything leather. And let me show you the bottom of them. They're just the same leather. And I think these would have been for, for a baby who couldn't walk yet. They're very little, but aren't they sweet? So they were they are very early ones. Possibly the same age as the pink, um, you know, going out in the coach boots, I'd say. And then what have we got next? We've got these ones, which are very cute. They are a little pair of white leather um, leather shoes, very small. Let's see, does that say anything on there? No. Very small and very simple. They're just plain white and they do up with a little strap around the ankle with that button, that beautiful button through a buttonhole. These ones are virtually identical to the ones I've got that I had when I was a baby, my very first pair of shoes. I forgot to get them out, I'm sorry, but they're identical to this. Oh, I think they may have a ribbon. Perhaps I'll go and get them in a minute and show you anyway. Um, so that's them, and they would be 1950s. Oh, do you know what? They both have that mark on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. It's a zero. So that is the smallest size. Very sweet, aren't they? Really, really cute. So that's them. Now this pair um, has a story that it goes with them. I'll put one down and show you the other one. It's a bit of a story because these shoes are like proper serious boys' shoes. They're very solid. The, the, the um, sole is solid and it's got a little heel and they're brown and they've got like a brogue kind of cut out at the front. They're very square shaped so they're for chubby little feet I'd say and they've got two um, straps that go across the arch of the foot that are buckles and they just do up with the buckles like that. Now these, this little pair of shoes came to me from a friend. She gave them to me because she knows I collect things and um, she wanted to give them to me but they belonged to her son. They were his, you know, his very early walking shoes and I said, oh, are you really, really sure, Denise? You know, it's a very precious thing to give away. She said, no, no, I don't want them. I'm not interested in them. He's a grown man now, of course. He's probably in his 40s or 50s. So she, oh I didn't say the leather is two-tone, I should have said that. You can see it's a bit lighter on the arch of the foot and it's darker around. Now that could be because Denise polished them more at the bottom, I'm not sure. But they're very, oh no, definitely two-tone because you can see the how they're piped around the edge, that's a lighter colour. So that's serious shoes that she gave me. So I treasure them because, you know, they're very precious and if she ever wanted them back, I would certainly give them to her. Now these last two that I want to show you are really cute slippers. These are the sort of slippers that my children used to wear, these ones when they were little. They had different, these ones have got elephant faces on them and the back of them is made in red felt. The toe, uh, toes are covered in a blue, I think it's vinyl, and then that's made into the shape of an elephant and the eyes are with two, what would you call those things? Eyelet rings, I think they're called, and then it, they do up around the ankle as well with just um, the red felt that, that is in two straps and then little buttons to do them up with a buttonhole. Now, my children had not identical to these but very similar in the red and blue, so I'll just show you the soles. I, I think that's final on the sole, so they're cute, aren't they? So they would only be like probably 1970s. And then this pair is a pair I bought at a doll show um, because I couldn't resist them, simple as that. These are felt as well in blue felt with the ankle strap and the button on them. And then look at the front. If I turn them that way, you'll be able to tell better. They're actually koalas made of white sheepskin. And then the eyes and nose are stitched in black. Aren't they cute? Really cute. They're quite big, these ones. The, the bottom is felt as well, I think. Let's have a look at the bottom. Hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's... I actually think that's felt. Or even suede. It looks quite sturdy. 
Yeah, so that's them. So that's all of my... I think that's all. I, I went and had a good look in the doll room and I think that might be all the actual baby shoes that I've got. I've got doll shoes, of course, you know, um, smaller for actual dolls. These are for real babies. So let me just go and I'll just go and get the little shoes that used to be mine. Now when I say they used to be mine, that's a bit silly because they are still mine, but what I should say is that I used to wear them. And um, here they are. Let me see, how's the best? Oh, it's so annoying. I'll put one down again, I'll have to do the same thing. These are little white leather shoes. They say in the inside it says, let me read it to you. Infant's footwear, and it, I think it says Cuffy, C-U-T-H-Y number one leather sole um, oh Cuthbertson's that's why it says Cuthy um, so there they are white leather and they have a little satin bow on the front and they do up with that ankle strap with the button and the buttonhole and there they are look there's a number one that's been written on the bottom of those so they are my very first baby shoes let me show you both of them together oh this is awkward isn't it there they are Aren't they cute? So they were my very first baby shoes. And I, I always had them. I don't know how. I think I saw a long time ago, they were obviously at my mum's, and I asked her if I could have them, and she said I could, which was pretty lucky because she didn't really, she liked to hang on to the things that she had kept. So she let me have them, and I've had them ever since. I kept, keep them in a special cabinet. Um, with some special dolls. That, it, that cabinet isn't in the doll room, it's outside of the doll room. It's really, um, it hasn't got reborns in it, it's got all sorts of other dolls. Sometimes some people, when people give me a doll, I put it in there so they can see it when they visit. Things like that. Anyway, that's where I keep my baby shoes and that's where I keep my teddy. I sh I've shown you him before, the teddy that I, um, that I have had since I was born. He's beautiful. His name is Tedco. Goodness knows why I called him Ted Co, but that's his name. And um, I'll have to be getting him out of the, the cabinet soon because for our doll club meeting in February, which is coming up, I think, yeah, just in a week on Saturday, next Saturday, um, we'll having, we're having a competition and a display of our the first doll we, we had or our oldest doll and also our oldest teddy. So um, I'll be getting Teddy out, Ted Co out of the cabinet and getting him ready. He's wearing some yellow pyjamas that my grandmother made me when stretch material was brand new. It was like a miracle, that stuff, like a jersey fabric that when that was new, instead of just being normal, just 100% cotton with no stretch in it. So that's what he's wearing in it at the moment. I'll have to decide whether he needs to wear his jammies or not to the doll club meeting. I'll probably show him to you when I and the doll that I'm going to take. Unfortunately, I don't have um, I don't have my original baby dolls. My mum was, as I've said before, she was a chucker, so things things went. <laughs> but I have got the first doll I bought that I've talked about, the Cindy doll, and all her outfits. And I keep it all in a special grey ballet case that I used to take when I went to ballet with my ballet shoes in it and maybe a cardigan or something like that in there. So all my, my Cindy things are in there so that's what I'm going to take because really um, I don't think I've got... Hmm, anyway, I think that's a good example of an early doll that I've got anyway. So that's what I'll be taking. So there we are everybody. I feel I've been a bit scattered today. I've been so busy. I had... Um, my youngest daughter with her two little girls here yesterday because it was Australia Day, so it was a, a big holiday and, um, you know, lots of celebrations and I've talked about how I feel about that anyway. I won't go into that again. Um, so we had a lovely day together. It was very warm, very, very warm, but, but my back garden is shaded and um, it was nice in the back garden playing on the swings and things, although the swing did hit my poor little little granddaughter in her just it caught her just uh, between her nose you know just under her nose in that little dent there poor little sausage there was there was a drop of blood but she cried and cried it was awful anyway so other than that it was it was a lovely visit so that was yesterday which was saturday and then friday friday was oh yes friday i'll tell you about that i 
I, after I got home from work on Thursday night, I got a text from my youngest son asking if I could go over to their place to look after the children. It turns out that his wife, who was due to have surgery in, well, towards the middle of, of this year, um, got a... Oh no, it was going to be in February, that's right. It got, then it got changed to the middle of February. The doctor got a cancellation for, um, for Friday. And no, cancel, say, forget about that. For the, it was going to be, it was done on Thursday. That's right. And instead of a 30 minute operation, it turned into eight hours. And, the, and my daughter in law has to stay in hospital for many weeks now. And then she should be fine. So um, my little boy, my youngest son, um, texted me on Thursday night to say, could I come to his place? for Friday to look after the children so he could go back to the hospital. So I said, well, can they come here? So he thought that would be great. So what I did was I went very early in the morning and I went to pick them up so that he could head over to the hospital. And um, so I had them here for the day, which was great fun. Two sweet angels. I love them. Well, you know I love my grandchildren. I don't need to say that, do I? That's silly. And we had a great time, really, really good time. The only sad part really is that um, my youngest grandson um, is starting school this year and his, his mummy won't be able to take him because school starts next week I think so that's a bit sad but my, my son is looking after them and, and he can work around you know do his work in between time so he'll be organising everything luckily um, my little grandson has already got his uniform and everything's all set to go so that's the only disadvantage, um, yeah, for his poor mum. But she, she's okay. She's doing all right. The doctors are looking after her very well, and she'll be fine. So that was my Friday and my Saturday, and then so today's my first free day. It's very hot, and um, tomorrow's actually a public holiday as well because because we're in Australia, and Australia Day fell on a, a weekend. They thought, well, no, we have to be given another day of public holiday, so we get to have a long weekend which is, is great. I mean, I don't work on Mondays, but it's still nice to have a day that's quiet and, you know, don't have to do anything. I assume the shops will be open, but I won't be going. So anyway, I think this has probably turned into an exceedingly long video, and I have to apologise for that. I really, really want to try and make shorter videos, but I'm not sure how, because I talk so much. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it if you've been able to bear it till the end and I hope you like seeing this darling little angel. Isn't she gorgeous? So her hair is, I've done it with water just for a change so you can see what it looks like. And there she is, my little Ramsay in this really cute outfit. And I might show her another one more time or two more times in something else. But anyway, we'll see how we go. So thank you everyone so much for coming back and for listening to me prattle on. It's been lovely to have you here with me in the kitchen. I hope you're not too hot. I'm melting. I'm going to sit under the fan now and I hope you're feeling okay in my hot kitchen. Nothing's on in the kitchen. It's just a hot day that makes everything feel hot. So everyone, until we meet again, please take care and be kind to each other. Bye-bye everyone.